Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. How can we be sure that the right books got in the Bible? Well, first of all, uh, the God who inspired them is going to preserve them. God doesn't begin something He doesn't complete. He who has begun a good work in you will perform it to the day of Jesus Christ. Uh, secondly, not only do we have a theological reason that the providence of God will preserve what God Himself had ordained for the faith and practice of all mankind, but historically we know that we have them because we can identify the prophet of God who was confirmed by the acts of God and who told truth in correspondence to the other truth in the Bible, the truth of God, and it was accepted by the people of God with its life transforming uh, power. And we know that community, it was a Jewish community in the Old Testament right up to the time of Ezra. And we know that the 39 books of the Old Testament are the exact books that Ezra uh, had back there. And uh, when it came to the New Testament, Jesus said, in John 14, 26, and 16, 13, Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth and bring to your remembrance whatever I've said unto you. Either Jesus is a false prophet or we have the whole story right there. And what were the rules, uh, the measurements that they were using to see if it was canonical? Uh, the measurements they were using in order of importance. Was it written by a prophet of God because they were the mouthpiece of God? Uh, was he confirmed by acts of God? Like Nicodemus said, we know you are a teacher come from God uh, to Jesus because nobody can do the miracles that you do except God be with him. When they challenged Moses, who are you to do miracles? Moses said, stand over here if you think uh, God has spoken through me. Stand over here if you think God's speaking through Korah and his group. <laughs> the earth opened up and swallowed Korah and Moses said, any more questions? You know, was it written by a prophet of God? Could he be confirmed by acts of God? Did he tell the truth about God and was it accepted by the people of God with the life transforming power of God?